Hey, beautiful souls. I hope your day is going well. Welcome back to my channel. For your new souls that's chiming in for the first time, welcome to my channel. What a blessing it is to have you here with me today. Listen, Cherie here from So Deep Designs, and I'm telling you, I am excited. Today, you already know, I'm always excited. Listen, today, um, it's not gonna be a tutorial. It's really more or less like a informational and uh, share. Uh, a lot of you already know that I love the art of sewing. I love sewing, y'all. Uh, but in um, the essence of sewing, there are certain tools that you need to make it flow a little easier, okay? And it's many out there. But today, I am gonna share with you uh, rulers. I love me some rulers, y'all. And I'm telling you, everything uh, that you put your hand on in regards to sewing, it is a ruler out there that can kind of assist you. And sometimes rulers can be uh, very overwhelming, you know, trying to read, but practice make perfect. But I'm not gonna hold you long, and I'm definitely not gonna show you all the rulers that I have, cause boy, do I have a lot. But I do wanna show you a few um, to help you if you're venturing into sewing, or you already uh, may already um, um, sew, and um, just let me educate you a little more uh, with some rulers, that's all. And um, so let's start. I'll start with some of the small ones um, that help me. This is like a, like a four inch um, ruler, and I'm telling you, you may not think that these small rulers will assist you in so many um, ways, but I'm telling you, it assists you in many ways, y'all. Uh, so I love having small rulers um, like this. Uh, Omni grid, here going another like three inch. And if y'all seen my video the other day when I was uh, completing a, a purse tutorial, uh, I actually used uh, one of these to cut out my bottoms instead of using, you know, the big rulers, and we'll get into that. But yes, uh, this is a, I believe this might be a, a two by two, like two by two. And mind you, in these rulers, even though it may be a two by two, you can cut different size squares. So one, one and a half inch. I mean, it, it actually is a great guide, okay? Just something to think about. So don't let these, you know, uh, intimidate you. This is also a good uh, quilter's uh, uh, gauge uh, where some um, folks don't know where to put their their needle, like a quarter inch or five eighths or half inch. Um, this is a quilter guide that is just awesome. You put your needle in there. I have to get some more tape and um, uh, you put um, some tape on the side to kind of, and then you take this out of your machine and then the tape uh, serves as a, uh, like a boundary so you know where to put your material. So I know sometimes people struggle with, what is five eighths, what do they talk about, what is three eighths, what is half an inch? So this quilter's gauge will help you with that and you don't have to quilt to use this, just FYI. And as I don't wanna show you all, then we have, uh, things like this, like if you're if you're um, quilting, this is a, a, a binding uh, tool. This helps you with your binding going around to kind of um, help you measure. And if you want to um, depend on what size you want it, this goes up to a two and a half, and that's pretty big. And so if y'all struggle with binding things, you can also get something like that. And um, I'm just gonna just start grabbing. Uh, this is a, a companion. Uh, what they call a companion uh, angle. So this helps you and this goes up to uh, 10. So if you have to do a certain type of angle, this is a great, a great uh, ruler. And then you have hexagon rulers. If you wanna do thing, anything hexagon. And y'all, this does not mean uh, I mean, focus is just on quilting. You can use this when you, um, you know, sewing pretty much any uh, anything. But if you look in here, 
uh, and hopefully you can see, you may not be able to see, but you know, you still, it's rulers inside of rulers or, you know, so these are good. I love using the easy quilting, uh, which is like uh, 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 Darlene Zimmerman. Uh, she uh, passed away. Uh, look her up. She's a dynamic, dynamic teacher. And um, she's actually the one who designed like the easy uh, rulers. Um, you have your diamond cut. So say if you want something cut in diamonds, uh, you can use this and you just uh, figure out like what size. I think this goes up to uh, six. Um, and this is, uh, like it says, a girl's best friend is a diamond, but this is a good ruler to have. Then we have uh, Fonz and Porter is another great uh, resource in regards to um, rulers. And uh, make sure, maybe y'all can go back and write some of these uh, rulers down and y'all can go back and start looking these rulers up to see, you know, uh, what is their function. Cause I'm telling you, you'd be surprised and you can come up with your own, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, like design or whatever, using these uh, templates. I'm telling you, I made some good stuff, y'all. Um, and this is a, a wedge template. And I think this goes up to, uh, yeah, like 11 inches. And it kind of uh, tell you, you know, down here, give you some kind of direction. Um, but this is a wedge template by Fonz and Porter. And they are another great resource to look up as uh, far as sewing. And if you want to like beginning sew small projects, Fonz and Porter been around for a long time. And since we say I'm Fonz and Porter, this is Fonz and Porter. And this is what you call a fussy cut. And it comes uh, in five different sizes. I'll just pull one out. Love this, y'all. Love it. And the reason why that they call it fussy cuts, because say if you have some material um, and you want just a certain type of section, um, you know, you oh man, I like that section, but you know, I don't want that section. These is what the fussy cuts is for. You know, a see-through, you can put it on there, depending on the size. Um, and like I said, it comes in five. This right here is a six inch finished block. So say if you're making a, a small quilt or even a purse, like I said, y'all, and um, it comes in five different sizes. So it goes, I mean, I think it uh, two, maybe two inches all the way up. So this is a great tool to have, have a fussy cut. And even though you can use and utilize a fussy cut um, with other rulers, I'm telling you, be bomb, y'all, be bomb. And this is another, I think this is maybe be, uh, yeah, this is a, a four by four ruler. This is a, this might be a June Taylor. June Taylor, Darlene Zimmerman, which is the easy, fine porter, um, I mean, Fonz and Porter, I'm sorry, and um, the Omni Grid, I'm telling you. And like I said, still lines, you can look, and I'm telling you, you can never get enough rulers, y'all. I'm telling you, I have so many rulers, I ain't even gonna pull them out because y'all be like, mm. uh, Dresden, um, Dresden, uh, y'all may have seen like so many different Dresden designs. I mean, down to quilts, down to runners, and maybe we could do some uh, some small on a small scale. I'll show you how to use uh, this uh, some of these rulers. This is one of my favorites, y'all. If y'all like bag making, um, this or not even only bag making, uh, little small quilts or uh, table. Uh, what do you call it? Like the table mats or whatever. This is the bomb. This is the round the corner. And this is also by June Taylor. June Taylor, she has some dynamic, dynamic, I'm telling y'all, rulers. But this is around the corner. So say if you want to do a purse uh, and you want, instead of the square and you want the round corners, this is, this is your per, I mean your person, Lord, this is your ruler. You know, and it, and then have if you want it small, or if you want it large. So it just depends on um, um, how uh, big you want your corners. And you just put the, you see the corner right here. You just put your material in there, cut around it, and I'm telling you, the bomb. Look it up. 
These are also a June Taylor. This is around the block. And this is another um, awesome um, ruler. And um, look it up, Put the, uh, write this down, around the block, or just write down the different, like I said, um, um, uh, manufacturers or whatever, or uh, folks that have a line of rulers and these are the go-to you can do and be creative. It's so many things you can do, y'all. This is an easy square. This is another. This is a six, six inch. So say if you know, oh man, I really don't know how to, to cut. Get some of these rulers and let them help you cut. If you want to cut a six inch square and instead of, I have a really big ruler, I'm not going to show you that. Y'all uh, probably see this when I'm doing my tutorials, but really, really, really big. And um, and sometimes folks don't want to you utilize that big one, you know, as uh, far as, and sometimes they have challenges in far as measuring. These are the kind of that you need. Omni grip, love them, love them. Um, on a couple of my tutorials, when I made the um, hand, um, and, I'll, and I'll link some of those, um, videos uh, that I use the some of these rulers and say if you wanted to make um, a wristlet okay you want a small one or you want this size use these rulers to cut around your material it makes it so much easier okay and I believe this is the one what is that I think by five I might be like the this is might be the, the 11 by, by five and this is the five by 10, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, rulers like this, so easy. Of course, OmniGrid. Oh, I got so much stuff. Dresden. Oh, y'all be surprised, y'all. I ain't gonna show y'all this stuff. Uh, Wonder Triangles, this is another good. If you know, um, you wanna do triangles, turn them. You know, you can make a nice little sash out of that. I have things like this as well, where you can make um, different designs. If you can look in the back, it's called a flipping cut. It's a magic template. And so, this is a good one. And even y'all, if y'all out there and y'all complete mask, I mean, even though I have my own mask template, I, you know, <laughs> made that, but like things like this, this is a, a face mask template and it's three in one. So um, this uh, like, it, it shows you on here, like the seam allowance and all the other kind of uh, stuff. And um, this haven't even been opened yet. Um, that. Just showing you some of the small ones. This is the bricks template. This is the uh, for um, quilting, and this is also Fonz and Porter and the brick template. So go look this up, and you can see what the brick template have. Okay, and then I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna show you uh, some of my maybe some of my larger ones. I y'all have so many rules. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but you'll get the you'll get the gist. Rulers, I mean, rulers is very important, and it'll make your sewing life a lot easier, y'all. Y'all could try to uh, guess guess those measurements and, and do it. And also, this is a clapper. This is another good piece, and this is uh, actually made in the USA, a family-owned uh, business. Um, I believe it's Jackson Woodwork. And I believe I have this linked in, in um, the description. But this right here, great two to have. It's a clapper, look it up. You do have different ham rollers, cotton on one side. It's filled with like sawdust. This helps you with your seams, when you're sewing your seams. And this is a ham roller, just like it, because it's shaped like a ham. <laughs> and cotton on one side for those cottons, and then you have the other side, you know, for like maybe polyesters, wool um, that you aren't on, and this is actually a ham uh, holder roller, I mean, uh, holder. So I just put it in there and I can put my piece in there and just iron, it makes it a lot easier as well. Let's see some of these. 
Uh, this right here is a French cut. So say if you wanted to another June Taylor, say if you wanted to make a scarf with the fringes on the back, uh, and you know, you can measure it what, uh, how you want it and how big you want it. This is a great uh, tool to have. This right here, if you want uh, what they say, um, a perfect half square and quarter square triangles. June Taylor, I'm telling y'all, the bomb. Look up some of these rulers. I hope you're writing them down because I'm telling you, it will definitely uh, help. This is another Omni Grid. Love me some Omni Grids. This is a, uh, a hexy, uh, what it say? You hexy thing. Hexy, if you like hexy shapes, and this goes up to five inches. Easy. You got your cutting, but you put your rotary tool in, and you just cut. Uh, this is a, uh, man, I love this ruler. This is a twist and stitch, okay? It can be very overwhelming. <laughs> when you try to use this, but I'm telling you, you know, as far as quilting, this is a great twist and stitch. Another ruler by June Taylor. Uh, Omni Grid, this is just a 10 by 10. Um, and this is another great, and if y'all remember, I believe maybe my, um, I may have cut my pot holders in, in this one, but if not, um, another easy 10 by 10. This is also by, um, no, this is by, I think, by Omni, yeah, this is by Omni Grid too. And it's a 12 inch ruler all the way around. So 12 by 12 by 12 by 12 all the way around. But in the midst of that 12 by 12, you can see you can do a one inch, two, three, four, five. So, you know, all the way up into, uh, like I said, uh, the 12. Isn't that awesome? So say if you have your material and you need a four inch, you just use this and this goes up. This is very handy, but you don't have to use 10 rulers. You already have one, so this is a nice one. This is another uh, shape cut and, and plus a big one on the bigger scale. Nice one, you can cut so much. Make sure y'all look this up as well. It's a shape cut um, and uh, plus, and this is also uh, June Taylor. I'm almost finished, y'all, because I ain't going to show y'all all. And this is uh, a T-shirt uh, transmit. So if, if y'all uh, guys out there want to do, like, T-shirt quilts and things like that, I'm telling you, this right here. And if you notice, it has two different measurements. You just put your T-shirt in there, and you can just um, um, look. And then you cut, a I mean, what you do, you mark. And then you cut, and I'm actually going to show you. Uh, I love quilting, uh, but I love uh, sewing other stuff, you know, bags and stuff. And I used to do my own clothes. But I want to show you an example of that T-shirt quilt. And I'm not going to hold it all because it is pretty big. Okay, let me see if I can show you a little bit. This is what I made for my son. And it's really big. And these is just... Uh, he used to play basketball, but these are uh, his shirts, his jerseys through the years from the age of probably five on up to the age of, you know, when he got out of high school. Um, his AAU, um, I think I got a picture of uh, uh, him, you know, with his first child in here. Um, this was his first job. This was uh, uh, at the library. You see, I cut squares around it. Um, these are t-shirts that he have had for, you know, people maybe in our family that we have lost. And they're so old, y'all. So if they look old, it's because they are. <laughs> and um, hopefully you can see it. Like I said, you see it all worn. It's, it's all worn. It's all worn. And um, this is a pretty big one. This is when he was in junior high school or middle school. So he was probably, and that's when they used to have middle school. You remember, they, they stopped the middle school, so you know this is good and old. And um, like I said, his first job. And um, the first job that I actually showed you for the uh, library, that was the one side of the shirt. 
and um, the other side that I showed you was the other side of the shirt. And so um, with that t-shirt, I actually use that t-shirt ruler, okay? So those are just some of the rulers um, that I have um, that I want to share with you guys. Uh, just wanna let you know that um, having rulers will make your sewing so much easier. And um, if you have any questions about the rulers, I'll hopefully that you have wrote uh, some of these rulers down and hopefully it will be uh, um, useful to you. Um, so uh, that is it and that concludes um, uh, me showing you or sharing the rulers. Oh, I am so sorry, y'all. Every sewing room, every sewing room needs a yardstick, okay? And this is particularly for sewing. You can get any, any, any yardstick. But this right here, it tells you, uh, you know how to be like, okay, well cut one eighth of a yard, cut a half of a yard. This is great, one eighth, uh, a quarter of a yard, three eighths of a yard, uh, five eighths, a half, three fourths, and seven eighths. Awesome. And this is also by Dritz, okay? I didn't want to miss uh, that. All right, so uh, this concludes. Until the next time, y'all, we meet. I want y'all to look up some of these rulers. Go, uh, uh, it could be online, Joann's, because uh, most of the uh, most of them I actually went to Joann's and online as well, Amazon, and get you a ruler, all right? Until the next time we meet, y'all, peace.